This tent belongs to Richard. He's one of several homeless we met out here in Lancaster, out here in the elements, and now here's where they'll stay now that the homeless shelter behind me has closed its doors permanently. Oh, it's rough. I fell over right here, flat on my face. They picked me up here, the ambulance. Richard Gomez says he used to be a concrete finisher, but found himself in financial and other trouble. Yes, I, I'm, I'm, I, I have problems. He ultimately ended up here. I stay in my, my tent. The Lancaster Community Shelter closed its doors August 7th. The charity that operated it, Grace Resources, was unable to keep up with the cost, but tried and in the process used up all its reserves. My heart's broken. It's not what I wanted to do. It's not, none of us wanted to close the shelter, but it was just so much, made so much more sense to close it. And, and begin immediately working on the next step. Steve Baker, who runs Grace Resources, says that step instigated officials to move toward a more permanent solution. He envisions crisis, temporary, and permanent housing with services to help people cope and even transition back into society. Everything's going to take a while because it's, it's being initiated by a government entity. So. The blessing of being a government entity is they have resources. Resources, he says, the Antelope Valley hasn't been getting from the county given the need. Now an Antelope Valley homeless consortium has been set up to figure it out. In the meantime, the homeless wait. They really didn't think about the people and now that it's closed, people are everywhere and you, the police is messing with you, where are you going to stay? And that's breaking our heart because we have to sit out here and there's all this hot air and I'm a diabetic. I don't understand why they closed it. And I don't understand. They just want it figured out. I can't, I can't function in this. In Lancaster, Barbara Sharp for Spectrum News.